developer testers. Now, since we're talking about developer testers, how many developers do you think? Tester is not tester. Okay, I'm not going to be a beaten, the crowd is less. <laughs> Testers in any company, respective of HP, they have a different swag, okay? Different level of swag. It's because of us, this company is running. We test of the. <laughs> I still don't exist. I'm gone. I don't exist. He was explaining, Hello, did you see any developer bragging here? <laughs> we did this, we did that. Now, why I say they have a swag? There are different categories of testers in my lifetime I've experienced. First one are the Sarkari Babus of SDI. You go to any SDI bank, the people sitting at the counter, they are like holding, taking their teeth like this, sitting there quietly. And they will come to you. Dude, this is not working. I have no idea what is not working. If I am a developer, the testers will come to you. This is not working. So complete thing is not working. <coughs> a team of 14 developers spending day and night, thing is not working. The second category of testers are the interesting ones. They, I mean, I need HR to do their background verification. They must have worked for income tax department, Navy SEALs of USA, because the way they will explain you the bug, Abhishek, when you log in, you go to the third tab on the left, the fourth column on the right hand side, the fifth comma separated value, if there is a special character and it is repeated twice, it will not work. <laughs> How the hell do you find that? Can you explain? They don't deserve to be a QA. Right? Now there is there is a superlative degree of up to the level of testers then. <laughs> they will not only explain this is not working, at the end, if you open main.ctp line number 366, what <laughs> character you have to change. Now similarly there are developers. Okay. I'm coming to developers. The first category. The lazy ones. Why you say the lazy ones? Good. There's a quicks. Okay. <laughs> and it's good. Today evening, this release has to go. Yeah. Yeah. I take care of it. God knows when will he take care of it. And then he takes his TT bag and goes for pain. <laughs> and the money is not <laughs> Okay. The second category. There is a famous saying when our first Neil Armstrong landed on the moon. So from Russia they could not do it. So there was a saying from that time, if you can't make it, fake it. Okay. So this is the second category of developers. So the manager comes. Yeah, so uh, what is going on in that? Uh, it was supposed to be going in release 1.3.4.6. What is this? We are at 4.8. What the hell are you doing? So this guy has absolutely no idea. So he cooked up a story now. You know, I am working with some horrendous classes, class frameworks. This class has got a composition. This composition is a pointer. This pointer is not allocated using new. It is deleted by delete. And some XYZ. And the manager is like, this guy is working. Once I don't exist. No, I don't exist. This guy is Pakka working. So these are two categories of developers. Now there are categories of managers also. Now I definitely don't exist. Okay. Next FPR, eight months, month of And there are two types of specialties. I mean there are multiple. We all would agree. And I can see the charm on your faces when I took the name manager. <laughs> Let's take the revenge. Okay. So broadly if I classify, I have personally experienced, again not from HP, this is not an HP experience I'm talking about. <laughs> I have personally gone to two categories of managers. Now, the first category are the okay, let me explain the way they are. <laughs> In one of my previous organizations, there was this handsome guy, old one. His name was Raghu. Okay, I can disclaim this because this is long back, Stone Age. Now, you are imagine, I mean, we employees, we all 
having problems, issues, agitated, the test is not supporting, the developer is not supporting, manager is not supporting, the next team is not collaborating. A lot of those things are in your head. So you're all filled up. You have to empty your, yourself. Right? You can't do this after going home. You cannot. Married people, say yes. You cannot. So you need someone, a wall to listen to. Right? Do we, do we do nine? I don't know about your experience. So this guy Raghu, he has a chamber, he has a cave in. You knock at the door. Before knocking, the moment you open the door, the door is also like jam, musically to open. And inside there are like other bhaktis and incense sticks. A mild saxophone like our lift. So you'll already get a feeling that you're in Ayurveda, Ayurvedic massage center. <laughs> you're already calmed down, your blood pressure is already done. <laughs> Okay. And then you enter this guy sitting with his specs here. I have no idea why the hell is he wearing it here when he's talking to you. Yeah, Vishay. Raghu, this is not done, this is not done. That... Kutko. Okay. Have a seat. Sit, Macha. What happened? And he's like your mother. You get a mom feeling, okay? So warm. The, the, the room temperature is also set at 25, 27 degrees. <laughs> Okay, you just, the only missing point in that room is a massage bed. <laughs> Saxophone, live music, a very calm and composed. He's like, you'll be like, about to ask, which oil would you take? <laughs> you're so stressed, which oil would you take? And you're like, no, don't, I don't want that. And he'll start blabbering. And Raghu is like, okay. He's like, doing some mantras in his head. You're done with 10 minutes? He'll say, yeah, I will look into it. <laughs> and you were like, okay, yes, this guy seems convincing. You heard everything from me and you come out. Now when you come out of the room and you are busy with your tea and sutta and you are like, what the hell happened? <laughs> I spoke, good. He didn't utter a word. My problems are not yet solved. They are still there. Now you don't feel like going back inside because the moment you walked out, you were like, the temple, you know, tongue you do and then you like ask you one and then you come out. You're done with the day. Your annual appraisal is done next year. One year gone. This is the first category. Then comes the second category. FPR. I have worked with a manager recently, not in HP. <laughs> not in HP. Hundred percent not in HP. So but when, because in my HP, the FPR which happened was so romantic. It was so melodious, so sweet, so cute. My manager called me, Abhishek, you know why I have hired you? I was like, yes, I know. Do you know the designation you, uh, for which you've been hired? Yes. Prove it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it was like, you know, the cute little whispers, husband and wife into doing it. Why do you think? Do you remember you have to bring cauliflower? Yes. Did you bring it? No. Go and bring it. My FPR is so romantic. Not the previous year's FPR, I am talking about the previous year's FPR. The second category of managers I have worked with. Did it? I am done? I have time? Yeah, yeah. I have time? Okay, I have time. Okay, let the public decide. <laughs> I'm not yet done with managers, so majority will say yes. <laughs> the second category of managers, amazing, okay. Outside the room, before the FPR, Abhishek, I have sent you your feedback. I was like, okay. I want you to speak, minded. Abhishek, I want you to open up completely. <laughs> I have no idea what she means by that. <laughs> I want you to open up, open your heart, man. You are not the, the person who speaks out about the problems and issues. Once I am not talking about you. And yes, you have, you have to speak everything. And I am like, okay. So 10 minutes before the meeting, you will all look into all the previous emails where you have been blasted. You are remembering all the days. Okay, this guy has troubled me, that girl has troubled me. All the things you have collected. You enter the room, the manager is sitting in front of you. This is the best part. So you move on. Okay, yeah, Abhishek, please, have a seat. Did you look into it? I said, yes, for, for the obvious reasons. I'm not convinced with the ratings. So, yes, please speak. So ma'am, what happened? This was like this, no, hang on. 
<laughs> Before you speak, I would like to tell you that this is not done, this is not done. You did that in the, in the wrong way. In October, in November, you were not correct. December, you did not do this. July, you were not wrong over there. You should have traveled to Europe, you should have done this. And you were like, for 15 minutes, she will speak. Your speaking is done. The moment you open your mouth, your speaking is done. At the end, she will again ask the same question. Any questions? <laughs> Ma'am, when did I speak? <laughs> this is the second category of mine. I have still have time. <laughs> Public? If we have time, I'll go to the next one. I have? Okay. I see the front bench is saying yes. Okay, I'll do it. Please. Never after. I don't think it's after today.